Hello, my name is John Rogner. I serve as the Assistant Director for the Illinois Department of Natural Resources, and I also served on the Illinois Audubon Board uh, between 2018 and 2019. I'm going to read to you today from um, the Audubon Bulletin of December 1959. Uh, it's a, a story about a, a new hawk and owl protection law by a gentleman named Elton Fox. And I want to just say a quick word about Elton Fox. So he was a vice president of Illinois Audubon. Uh, he also edited the field notes for the bulletin for a while. He wrote a book, Bird Finding in Illinois. Um, and there's also a nature preserve, an eagle preserve named after him. He was an amazing gentleman, uh, a self-made uh, but ardent conservationist, bird conservationist. He was um, had a high school education, wasn't a biologist, had no advanced degree, uh, but he was uh, just possessed with eagle conservation. Um, he was a small-time auto parts dealer, that's what he did for a living, uh, but he became an expert on eagles, in particular the plight of eagles back in the 50s and, and 60s. As you know, they were uh, decimated by, by DDT. Uh, he didn't know that part, but through his monitoring and organizing people to do eagle watches along the Mississippi River, uh, he noticed that uh, young eagles were not being uh, produced and that they were declining. And he, he became a sought-after expert on bald eagles. Really interesting story. Uh, so I'll read, I'll read his uh, short article here, a piece of it anyway. It's called The New Hawk and Owl Protection Law by Elton Fox. This year, the General Assembly of Illinois passed into law Senate Bill Number 642, which was sponsored by the Department of Conservation. That's the old name for the Illinois Department of Natural Resources. This revision of the game code, among many other things, established complete protection for all hawks and owls in Illinois. In the September 1957 issue of the Audubon Bulletin, the writer told about the passage of that year of a new hawk and owl law sponsored by the Illinois Audubon Society and other conservation groups. Credit at that time was given to the many who helped me in the passage of House Bill Number 1063. Subsequently, it was discovered that Section 36 of the Game Code had not been amended. This section did not list the Cooper's Hawk, Sharp Shinned Hawk, and Great Horned Owls as birds that had complete protection. The Department of Conservation promised me that they would seek to amend Section 36 in the 1959 General Assembly to give the protection desired. This has been accomplished, and full credit for the final protection must go to the Department, and especially to Louis E. Martin, Assistant Director, who steered the bill through the General Assembly. He wrote me several letters telling about the progress of the bill. With his excellent help, little work was required on my part. The Conservation Department also has started an educational program showing the value of our hawks and owls. Among other things, they had a fine exhibit in the old State Office building in Springfield pertaining to protection of these birds. They have notified all state personnel about the new law. On two radio broadcasts of the 15-minute program Outdoors in Illinois, they told about the value of our hawks, owls, and eagles. These programs were recorded on tape and the Conservation Department presented a copy to me. The narrator describes how one can tell these birds apart and discusses their value. Now that the Conservation Department has started the educational program, the Illinois Audubon Society must carry on. We must not only use every chance to tell about our predatory birds and their places in nature, but must also see that the new law is enforced. This is important. Thank you for listening, and happy 125th anniversary, Illinois Audubon Society. <laughs>